Look, obviously it was tough to watch this year to see the boys that you know, I know have put in so much work for not only this pre-season but over a number of years to, to struggle at times. But um, I think they're going to learn a lot from it and sometimes you have to go through adversity to come out a better team and a better player. So um, it never goes to plan and footy's never as bad as it seems and it's never as good as it seems. So while it was difficult to watch at times, um, there's plenty of learnings to come from it. Uh, one of my highlights no doubt was watching Hunter Clark uh, handing over my jumper that I wore for so many years, round one, Brisbane, and he just showed some signs that he's going to be a 200 game player. Um, I'm really excited to watch him now. I must admit it was weird at the start seeing number 11 out there, but by the end of the year uh, I knew that St Kilda have got a beauty. He's going to be a, a terrific player and the Rising Star nominee, I think, against the Gold Coast. And the one moment that sticks out for me with Hunter Clark in particular was that, I think it was the last quarter of the Melbourne game, he scooped the ball up off half back on his non-preferred left foot, 45 metre pass, helped the boys go forward and it was just a small sign in a big game, in a close game, that the young kid took responsibility and uh, he's going to be a beauty. And there's the siren, the Saints hang on to win an absolute thriller. The one thing I could see all year is they were trying, the boys were trying, didn't quite get it right at times but it's there and I know this group really well, I know the young players and they do have the best intentions and they do want success and they do work hard, it just didn't go their way this year and uh, as I said I hope they, they learn a lot from it. Uh, the adversity, they come out of it, stronger players, a stronger team and the players really appreciate fans that stick with the club through thick and thin. It's the real, the real heart and soul fans are the ones that stick with us through the tough times because it's always part of the journey and we speak about that as, as a player throughout your whole career. You, you never really get that to the, to the level you're, you're satisfied at. It's always a journey, it's always a work in progress and uh, you want the fans to be part of that journey. I know the players in the, the club always appreciate the supporters that stick with us through the rough times because it makes it more special when we do get back up the top.